Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. So this is the second part of our to-do app tutorial and in this video we are going to create model class and database helper class and as soon as I complete this tutorial I will put source code in the description box so if you get some error you can always check with that so let's click on this java and first package name new java class oh, sorry we will create one package for this so new package and this will be model and inside this model package we will create new class that will be to do model and we will create three variables here so first will be private string task and private integer id and status status of our checkbox it is checked or unchecked so now we will create a getters and setters so right click and click on generate getter and setters and we will select all and click on ok so that's it for model class now we'll just close this and we'll click on package new package we'll name it as utils and inside utils we'll create new class that will be database helper and this will extends to sqlite open helper now we'll click uh, alt enter to implement some methods on create and on upgrade and again we'll click alt enter so it will create constructor for us okay so now we have to create some constants first will be the database name so private static final string database name this will equal to to do database and we'll duplicate this line and this will be table name and this will be to do table let's say and again we'll duplicate this line and instead of table name we'll write here column 1 and this will be id and we'll duplicate this line two more time so this will be column 2 and this will be column 3 this will be task and this will be status and again we'll create one instance of database so private database sorry sqlite database and we'll name it as a db and over here we'll pass here null as a factory and version will be 1 because we are just creating the application and name will be database name and we don't need all this here we we'll just require context so we'll just delete <coughs> remaining stuff okay now we'll jump to our on create method and here we'll use this instance of sqlite database db so db dot execute sql and here we'll just create the table so create table if not exist and make sure you put space after this and then concat it with table name and here we will write id integer and this will be our primary key so primary key and this will be auto incremented so auto increment and then uh, we have task so task this will be text and then we have status so this is integer okay that's it for on create now we'll jump to on upgrade method and here we have to execute one sql so db dot execute sql and here we have to write drop table if exist and then concatenate it with table name 
and we just have to call this on create method here so on create and here we'll pass our db okay so now we'll just minimize these two methods and right after this we'll create one method that will be public void insert task and here we'll pass our model class so to do model and let's name instance as a model and we'll just uh, use this our instance of sqlite database here so db equals this dot create writable database will take permission and then we'll create content values values equals new content values now we'll just uh, use this values and put some values there so values dot put and column 2 then we have to pass here this uh, model instance dot get task and then we'll just write values dot put we'll write here column 3 and we'll keep status as 0 that means uncheck now we just have to write db dot insert and this parameter takes three values so first will be table name and the null column hack so we'll pass in null and then content values so values so that's it for this insert task now if user want to update the task or change the task uh, we should be changing the task in database also so for that purpose we will create one method public void update sorry update task and here we'll pass int id and string task and we'll just copy these two lines of code here code from here and we'll paste it here then va values dot put column to task and then task and we just have to invoke one method so db dot update and here we have to pass table name first parameter and then content values and the where clause that will be id equals question mark and then new string array so new string so we have id as an integer so we have to type cast it in our string so string dot value of id so that's it for this update task method so we also have to update the status so for that we'll create one method let me add some spaces here okay so we'll create one method public void update status and here we'll pass int id and int status again we'll just copy these two methods or uh, two lines of code from here and we'll paste it here then values dot put column 3 status and status and then db dot update table name and values where clause that is id equals question mark Okay, also have to change it here it's equals and then new string array so new string string dot value of id and then semicolon at the last okay now we'll just create one method for deleting the task so public void delete task and here we'll pass one id we'll just copy this db dot or db equals this dot get writable database and we'll run one delete method here and this will take three parameters first will be table name and then where clause id equals question mark and then the string array so new string string dot value of id 
and then semicolon so that's it now we just have to create one method for getting the all task and that method is little bit tricky than all the remaining methods so, and of course we are displaying the data in recycler view so we expect from this method to return a list so we'll use return type as a list so public list to do model will pass a to do model and we'll name it as a get all tasks and it will not take any parameter then db equals this dot get writable database and after that we'll create one cursor and we'll initialize as a null then we'll create one list so list it will be type of to do model and we'll name it as a model list this will be equals to new array list okay now we'll just begin the transaction so db dot begin transaction and then we'll run one try block so over here we'll just store all the data in our cursor so cursor equals db dot query and we are retrieving all the data from table so here we'll just write table name and we'll pass on other parameters as a null so columns will be null selection will be null selection arguments will be null and all the parameters will be null so that's it and after this we'll check if this cursor has any data or not so cursor if not equal to null then we'll move the cursor to the first so if cursor dot move to first and we'll run one do while loop so do and here while till the cursor can move to the next we'll run this loop and then we'll put semicolon here so over here we'll just create instance of to do model class so to do model class and we'll name it as a task new to do model and we'll just set all the arguments here so task dot set id and here cursor dot get int and cursor dot get column index so this will be column one and then we'll just duplicate this one so this will be set task and this will be get string and this will be column 2 and then task dot set status and this will be cursor dot get int and cursor dot get column index will be column 3 okay now we'll just add this all data in our model list so model list dot add and we'll pass here our task and we'll put semicolon over here so that's it now we just have to return the model list so after this try block we'll run finally block so finally we'll just end the transaction so db dot end transaction and we'll close our cursor so cursor dot close and after this we'll just return our model list so return model list so that's it for our database helper file now we'll close this and we'll jump to our main activity and let's initialize some variables and one fab button so let's initialize them in our main activity so private recycler view and recycler view we'll name it and then we have one fab button so private floating action button and we'll name it as a fab then we'll also initialize our database helper so private database helper we'll name it as a mydb and let's initialize all the variables so m recycler view equals find view by id r dot id dot recycler view and then fab button so fab equals find view by id r dot id dot fab then the mydb so mydb equals new database helper and we require here to pass context so main activity dot this and we'll just add on click listener to our fab button so fab dot set on click listener new on click listener 
so that's it for this video make sure you subscribe to the channel for upcoming tutorials so thank you for watching